Hi, this is uh, Percy from Swimming in Thought. I just wanted to show you that the uh, Octane Booster does indeed work. Um, what you're looking at right now is a Mercedes S550. Um, 2010, brand new. I have filled the tank with 87 octane to three quarters. And I've actually worked it out so that I'm going to be pouring. I'm going to be pouring xylene, uh, clean strip xylol, uh, xylene, octane booster, 117 octane. And I will be putting it into a $110,000 car. And of course, I need to activate, I need to unlock it. So I am going to do that by coming into the car with the key and turning on the engine. And as you can see, uh, well, I guess it doesn't show it. Um, I guess the car doesn't show it, uh, but it is at three quarters of a tank. So basically, by doing this, I'm going to be increasing my octane from 87 to well over 95. And again, here's a xylol, clean strip xylol, bought it at Home Depot. And yes, I'm in the Home Depot parking lot. And here we go. One gallon. Okay. And I'm just going to pour this in. Going to pull back a little bit so that you can see that I am indeed pouring the xylol into a Mercedes S550 gas tank. Now, what I'm going to do, since I have three quarters of a tank, I'm only going to pour about half the tank, uh, I mean half the xylol, into the tank, which should give me an approximate octane rating, or an AKI anti-knock index, of approximately 100-ish. So we're talking about 95 to as the engine's on. Hold on. Well, the engine's not on. Uh, hold on. I'm just going to unlock the car. Ah. Alrighty. Okay, honey, I'll give you bunnies soon. That's my daughter. And just to show you that I'm putting where my money where my mouth is, that is exactly what I have done. I have put, basically, half a gallon of xylol, or approximately 64 ounces, into into a Mercedes S550. Kids, don't try this at home. Well, actually, <laughs> most of you will after you see what happens. Um, car was knocking a little bit, but due to Mercedes ingenuity and excellent electronics, the car doesn't knock as much as it should on 87. But detonation is still not good. So, I'm gonna close the trunk. Double check to make sure my gas cap is on. And I'll be right back. I'm going to strap my daughter into the car. Just to show you, this is indeed an S550. Okay. And we'll just kind of rotate around. You can see the front headlights. It's 2010. Okay. Brand new. So. Here goes the experiment. 
Well, it's not really an experiment because I've actually done this multiple times. But Alrighty. Notice that right now gas tank is a little over three quarters, okay? Didn't put too much in, so I'm probably running in the mid 90s. Um, octane, I'll actually do the calculation when I get home. But um, let's see how it runs. Of course, it's got a mix up in the tank. So I'm gonna put the phone down and I will continue this when we get a little further. A little bit of erratic driving, not much, just some sharp turns and such should do the trick of actually uh, mixing up the gas tank. But as you notice, on the tack, completely still, no detonation, absolutely none. Very, very smooth already. And I'm just going to do another uh, errand while I'm here. And that was a sensor. Just means that I got, it just means that I got close to the curb. That's all it means. It, no error lights. Not the first time this car's done this. And uh, just wanted to show that, okay. Okay, so we're driving, we're mixing up the gas with the xylol. Um, prior to doing this, I had put a little bit of extra lubricant into the gas tank, very little bit of it. Uh, just, uh, I think I put in about an ounce of uh, Marvel, uh, Marvel Mystery Oil, okay? Um, and, you know, all this stop and go is obviously mixing up the xylol on the tank. And uh, let's just zoom in. The tack, the engine, is rock steady. Look at that. 87 octane gas. And uh, using the RM slash 2 method, okay, which is the anti knock index. And what we've done, hold on, I'm going to roll up the windows so that I can actually talk. And, okay, um, steady, car runs beautifully, and uh, if this doesn't show that it works, I don't know what does, but uh, I'll do a little bit of minor acceleration, uh, nothing crazy because I have my daughter in my car, but I will definitely, you know, show that acceleration is very, very smooth. Now keep in mind that this is an S550, so it's not the AMG, it's not the Bravis. No weird smells, just so you know. Um, nothing changes really because xylene is actually used in gasoline blends as an anti-knock in, uh, inhibitor. Um, so basically, what does that, what does that mean? It prevents de detonation, uh, premature detonation, and uh, basically gives you a higher octane index, which is what we're doing. But as you can see, the car is actually running extremely smoothly. Um, if I had to get take a guess, and I've been doing this for quite a while, I'm going to say that we're probably running somewhere around 95, 96 octane. Um, I'll do the actual math, like, like I said later, but as you can see, it's beautiful. Uh, so, for those that doubt, um, I don't know what to say, except for the fact that this car has, let's see, I'm so bad at this, no problems, 75, uh, 17,000 miles, uh, 596 miles, and, uh, this car has been running <clears throat> 87 plus my special blend, which is available on swimminginthought.com. And as you can see, let's do a little bit of acceleration testing now, shall we? Just a little bit. 
you can hear the engine totally smooth and well you can't see the tack but we're doing 70 miles an hour and how ironic we're passing a 45 mile per hour um, speed limit sign which I will not be doing again so well at least not with my daughter in the car but I just wanted to show that this does indeed work and uh, cheers <laughs>